Hello, this is Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. And in Tears of the Kingdom, I'm going to show you what I do for my weapon and shield resupply. Now, showing you what I have for my current inventory right now. We're going to start at Lookout Landing, Skyview Tower. We're going to head over to the castle. And all these places I've got marked with the pens for the uh, weapon icon and I just call it a shield icon. Those are the places we're going to go. Now, I'm not going to have you watch a minute and 45 seconds of paragliding over, so we're going to pause on the uh, recording and then get right there to the top of the castle. Now, just to the southwest on the top of the castle, you're going to see this hole. That's where we're going to go, and I put a travel medallion there. So if you don't have a travel medallion there and you want to resupply weapons in the castle, this is a good place to do it. So you're going to get a dusk bow, okay? And the, du the dusk bow is good for long distance. That's the only long distance bow I've found so far in the game. And we're going to jump out and we're going to head to the southern face of this. And if you go down just a couple levels, you're going to find a royal bow. So if you want that, you know, you go ahead and take it. There is a whole lot you're going to be able to get with bows, shields, and melee weapons. Okay, we're going to head south, we're going to drop down some, and then we're going to glide back north into the sanctum. And I realize I don't need that travel medallion, I'm going to move it. Okay, instead of doing a send, I'm just going to show you my route going through here. And I go uh, basically counterclockwise starting out. I'm going to make a U-turn and go up. Now, right up in front of me is going to be a Royal Guard shield and a Royal Guard sword. And I'm not taking them because I don't need them right now. Hop over to this area right here, and we got the Royal Guard spear. Now, our next place we're going to go, and this is kind of inconsistent, we're going to go to this uh, statue did a broken head on the statue. What's inconsistent is sometimes there's a pack of 10 arrows here and sometimes there's not. The last time I went through here, there was, and this time there's not going to be. Okay, but I'm going to turn right over to this area and there's Royal Guard Claymore. We're going to do that part next to the statue head. And there's Royal Guard Bow. And if I hop over this head, sometimes there's a pack of arrows. Now, you see where my travel medallion is? That's a marker. So we're just going to head to that area, which is the southern face. That's the uh, entry into the sanctum. And we're going to make a right turn right up here. And we're going to hop over this little part of the wall. Okay. And we're going to hop over. I realize there is a wooden box down here in the water, but we're not going to take it. Okay. You can if you want, but I'm not going to. We're going to drop down over here. Back up just a little bit and turn around. And we have a Knight's Claymore. And I'm going to make a U-turn. Hop over to this part. If this is your first time in here, there's a treasure chest over here that's going to have um, one of the guard uniform parts in it. Sometimes there is a pack of five arrows here. Sometimes not. I didn't get it this time. There is a row of guard bow up here on the wall, so if you want it, there it is. Okay, now right behind that room is going to be a row of guard claymore. So far, these are the best weapons I have found just, you know, a few hours into the game. Okay, I'm going to want to ascend up here. And I'm going to ascend twice. And the reason for that is because it's raining. And the walkway between this chamber and the princess's study is, is going to collapse if we step on it. So I might not be able to climb up easily because of the rain. So we're doing it this way. Okay, there's a royal guard bow here. And the first time in the room on the left side as, as you enter would be a treasure chest, but that's gone now. Okay, so the next place we're going to go is going to be the shrine on the northeast part. But if you haven't been to the shrine before and opened it up, you'd want to go to that travel medallion. Okay, I'm going to go to the travel medallion just to show you where the shrine is, just in case you haven't opened it. 
I'm going to travel over here. And we're going to hop over. We're going to kind of curve around clockwise. And we should start to see this little blue glow. Now, if you haven't opened a shrine, there's going to be a blue and green glow on top of it. I think we all know how those go. But we're going to go to this um, blue teleport platform part here. And we're going to turn around a little bit and we're going to hop down to this brick walkway for the entry to this part. And I don't like running <laughs> in, the, in the game, so I just glide when I can. And turn around in this part, and on the right side, you're going to find a nice broadsword. Then we're going to hop over this ledge and turn around. We're going to open this little doorway here. There's going to be a royal shield. And there's going to be a royal broadsword. And kind of angle it over to the right. We're going to open up this one. And we're going to go up the stairs. And we're going to find a nice claymore. Now, if you're not very competent with shield surfing, then you might want to take one of these doorways up the stairs. All right, I'll show you one in a minute. The Royal Guard Shield right here. Sometimes there's arrows, sometimes they're not. Okay, and over here, we got a soldier's claymore. This is a perfect place to do a sin, and we're going to do a sin twice. But if you need to take one of those doorways up here to have something to stand on, basically like a walkway or a bridge, then you're not going to want to ascend. And I'll show you my way of doing it because I really like to do it this way. Okay, so we don't want to be stepping on that. So what I'm going to do, and I hit the wrong button, is I'm going to go to my shield that has a cart on it. I'm going to shield surf over this. I'm going to go up here, and I've got a Royal Claymore. There's a doorway down here that we're going to go through. <clears throat> and on the right side is going to be a Lizalfo with a steel Lizalfo bow. If you want, you can fight him and get it. He's not that hard. And over here in this passageway on the right, which is a dead end, there's another one. So if you want to get those, you can. Like I said, it's not a hard fight. Okay, so our next destination is going to be this gatehouse and this little uh, area right across from it. We're going to go to that yet again from my travel medallion up in the top of the castle. And I just do that because it's quicker and easier. You can tell a weekend at a game, I don't have that much done yet. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to want to turn more towards the southeast. And we can see our destination right here. And there's a hole near the top on that pointed roof that we're going to want to go into. Now, on this particular run through, there is no treasure box there because I've opened it before and this one does not respawn where everything else has been. So, there would normally be a royal bow in this part. And I'm going to drop down. We're going to go into this chamber. And usually I'll find a treasure chest here. And it's going to have a royal halberd. I don't think those will respawn, but I've never taken it, so I can't verify. And a royal guard shield. And I find it easiest just to climb up to this wall and then ascend and paraglide down to the next place. 
Now I'm not very good with the mechanic on that one. I got to back up. And come up through the roof. We're going to paraglide over. This area down here sometimes has arrows. It does this time. The arrow part has been inconsistent. And there is a bow. It's not a very good bow, but it's there if you want it. And if you ascend in about the middle area, you can come up over here next to a treasure chest. And that's going to have a Royal Claymore. Okay, so that's mainly it for the weapons that I go for. Now, I've heard people say that if you go down to the dining hall or the dining room, um, that there's good stuff there. So we're going to drop down there and, and show you how to get there, but then that it's not that great in the first place. Okay, had to orient myself for a minute. And here we go. So I'm looking for that formation right there. And there is a cork seed. That's what the, my triangle is on top of that little platform area. We're going to go down. And if you turn, you can see an opening. So if you go into this part, yes, there is a sphere, I believe, on the wall. And we're going to turn to it. And behind those boxes that are under that spear, there is a bow, but neither one of them are very good. And there's occasional arrows inside the boxes, but you have to break the boxes to get one arrow. So, this is what I do. Hopefully it's helpful for people. This has been Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. Have a safe, happy, peaceful, wonderful day, and goodbye.